and then I uh, I confiscated them off him because there was just I thought there was dead and stuff so uh, there was just like festering in this uh, container just without the tissue and just just standing there with no humidity or temperature it was just sat in the corner of the room so um, I just took it into my room I put it into a new container put a tissue as a substrate and uh, I kept it on top of my tree frog tank because that maintains the temperature of 20 to 30 degrees uh, which is ideal for the sick insects um, and I spray it every other day and it's only been a week since I've uh, rescued them and one's already hatched there yeah. so what I'd recommend doing is um, if you have stick insects you'll know already that uh, they breed really really easily so what they look like the eggs is like little seeds with like little white tops and little white studs on the top of them so what you do is you just take them out of the tank put them in uh, put them into a new container uh, put some tissue down uh, and maintain the temperature of 20 to 30 degrees uh, C that is um, so yeah so today I was shocked because I, I looked in there it's only been a week since I uh, have been looking after them and then one just suddenly uh, hatch so I don't know why why it's because of the time because they're supposed to hatch between 8 and 10 months but it might be just because it was uh, hibernating because the conditions were so bad and then when I've brought them back to the right temperature and stuff uh, they're, they're fine so that's how to look after your, uh, your eggs anyway now moving on to the hatchlings uh, for stick insect hatchlings what you want to do is you want to just get a container Oh yeah, with regards to that as well, you need to make sure there's a lot of air holes there as well. You, you can heat up a, a needle and then just like push it in and make sure there's lots of like air holes there. So, but with this I couldn't really be bothered and uh, I was a bit scared of whether it would get out the holes so I just used a, a cricket box and cleaned it all out because I feed my frogs crickets and then yeah that's it. So what I'd recommend doing is just get them in a cricket tub, uh, wash it out label what date they hatched uh, lay down some tissue uh, spray the tissue then put some of this uh, you can either feed them pivot leaves which is what I've got in there because I've got a big bush of it uh, bramble leaves eucalyptus leaves uh, there's quite a lot of stuff but you'll find out more on the internet and then just make sure they're on a temperature between 20 and 30 degrees and make sure the humidity is up so just spray the tissue and then it'll be fine so give it a week and then if there's any faeces or whatever on the tissue then you can uh, you can take the tissue out and uh, replace it. So that's it, I'll just get them out now. Um, just take the lid off. There we go. There he is. He's a. Uh, I'll just get a ruler one sec. Wait, just pause this. <laughs> 